good morning y'all good morning so as you saw did some laundry well put it put away some laundry i have one more load that is drying and then i will have to put that away but essentially i thought i would do a day in the life of what my nine to five is looking like but what a typical like day working in it kind of looks like but today's exciting because i am going into the office i'm going into the physical office speaking of i need to find my badge need to find that i know kind of where it is yeah i need to go into the office and grab my stuff. Also, they're giving free lunch today. They're providing free lunch today. So a few of my friends who, when we did work in the office, we were on a different team. We've since moved on to other tech teams. And on our other tech teams, we are all remote. And so we were like, let's go into the office this morning and grab our stuff. Also say hi to each other and grab free lunch while we're at it so it's about to be eight o'clock i have a meeting that i actually set up at 8 30 this morning with my team because i'm having issues with an integration yeah so i need to like work through that to make sure that the integration is going to work properly but also securely as well Let's get this day in the life of an IT person <laughs> um, vlog, essentially. So, I'm excited. Heading out and I'm wearing my new Birkenstocks. I've been wanting these for so long. I am so happy that I finally got them. I ended up stopping at Starbucks and getting banana bread. And that's gonna be my breakfast this morning. Yeah, it's 9.48. I need to leave <laughs> Starbucks, but I'm, wait I'm waiting for a reel to get posted. And then I'll be on the highway. Pick up my stuff, fill my backpack. Now I'm heading back home. <laughs> Just made it back into my car. <sighs> I feel like wearing an N95 mask always like leaves me out of breath. But it was really good to see some people in the office. Also grab my stuff. <laughs> I had a couple picture frames and just like a mug that I wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, and a card. I had this card from my friend saying, yeah, she wrote this for me on January 6th. Wow, along with the verse, Isaiah 41.10, don't be afraid for I'm with you. Don't be discouraged for I'm your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Thanks, Sang. Such a nice person. I love Sang. Also funny. 
<laughs> my friend who I work with, he like kept my stuff for me and <laughs> I had this. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, how black am I <laughs> to keep that in the office for those deep moisture days. But yeah, I pretty much gathered, you know, the stuff that I needed and um funny thing is we didn't get lunch <laughs> um lunch was not provided but that's okay it is a friday um it's basically the weekend but i am going to head back to my neck of the woods and grab some food i don't even know what i'm going to have for lunch honestly it was weird because the beginning of 2020 like I had started in this new job as I said earlier and then in three months like I was working from home then also just seeing how like desolate the office is like there was one person on one floor um, that we went to and then there was like maybe a handful of people on another floor and then maybe two handfuls of people on another floor and it's just it's still weird like even though we're you know two years into this like the remnants of what we have gone through is still like very evident <laughs> and very much present and I don't know it was just it was weird but it was also really nice to see people in the office and talk and chat and um yeah, it just, it felt nice to like have a semi-normal work day, even though I only went into the office for a little bit. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna head to go grab some lunch. I, after I grab my lunch, I will have a project to kind of finish off. So I'll show you what I get for lunch and I'll show you what my, you know, me kind of working on my project. I can't exactly show you the work that I'm doing, but essentially I'm building a project within one of our applications, apps that we use. That is what I am focusing on for today, because I said I would deliver that to the stakeholder by the end of day. Anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all when I grab my lunch, because I is hungry. I've only had a banana bread a few chips, a green juice, my ginger and turmeric shot, and water, which I need to drink more of today. So I ended up getting mad greens. I got salad, the T.Y. Cobb salad, and then some pita bread, and then I went to Whole Foods because I was craving something sweet. So I got some dairy-free ice cream and I also picked up some tulips. But I just had this thought of like, I feel like sometimes in life you have goals of obtaining certain things or doing certain things. And then when you're living out those goals or those dreams that you had, like you've actually reached them and attained them, it's nice to kind of really live in the moment. And I feel like I do that several times with this car specifically and also just like where I'm at in life and being able to like be where I'm at financially um, compared to where I was like even three years ago. It took me a long time and I was also like making, you know, uh, really bad money. <laughs> Uh, I was not making enough um, for a cost of living and I saved like very intensely to even have a down payment for this car and I paid off this car in about two years like less than two years or yeah in less than two years of having it and it was a used car, I didn't buy a brand new car because that's not something that I needed, but I still have moments of just being like, I had this goal of having this car, of having an SUV and paying a certain amount for it. And every now and again, I just think like, you reached your goal and you obtained it and you also paid off 
the car and you did really well with that and I just feel like there's a lot of moments where you just you save for things or you have like goals in your life that you like want to reach but then when you actually reach them sometimes you forget like the journey that it took you to get to that goal or get to the place that you wanted to be and I get reminded every now and again and I was reminded as I was driving home like girl you've you've you really like saved for this car and you bought this car and you paid it off and you did a really good job and um you are also like in a new job and the work environment that you prayed for and the people that you work with is just so much better than where i was working because my previous company honestly i had a micromanager and i was constantly overlooked for my job and i wasn't valued in any way shape or form and i would get um I would get overlooked, but also, like, I was put on, like, a performance evaluation, even though I did my job correctly and I did it really well. And the people that worked with me were like, yeah, she does her job really well, but it was my manager <laughs> that was putting me in this position. And it just, yeah, I was in such a, like, with management specifically, my specific manager that I had really put me in a tough spot. And so many people knew that. Um, at that job and it's just like interesting to now be in a completely opposite you know environment where they know that I'm working hard um, and that I'm doing my job properly and I get recognized for that and get kudos for that not saying that I constantly need the recognition but like I don't have a micromanager anymore I have a healthy relationship with my manager and my manager's manager and um also being able to like have a car and afford to pay it off and you know I mean I didn't really afford to pay it off I I yeah having a car and being able to pay it off eventually after you know getting a new job and switching industries like it's just amazing to see how far I've come and how much further I, I know I have to go and hopefully it's just a reminder to you that like you can set goals for yourself and you can accomplish them and achieve them but you know celebrate those times once you do achieve them and continue celebrating them because it's it's a long journey and it it's not like an easy thing um and it's an exciting thing and you know you should celebrate the life that you have and the things that you work hard for so anyways i'm gonna get inside now i'll talk to you guys when i get in there All right, I'm back in the real office. <laughs> Just kidding, my my room. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my salad, and I got the dairy-free, gluten-free, vanilla ice cream, little personal-sized one. So I'm gonna have that after my salad, cause you know balance and then I'm gonna get some work done because I have a deliverable that needs to be met today. since I can't show you my actual work I can kind of talk through um, what I'm doing but I guess I can share one of the systems that I work in is JIRA so I'm an admin on JIRA and I create projects and stuff. I do everything in Jira, to be quite honest with you. Like I, I manage Jira, <laughs> essentially. For right now, I'm creating a project for someone, 
uh, for a team and they wanted some custom fields so I created those and now I am just inputting the fields in a specific order because they want them to show up um, in a certain order and then I'm making certain fields required and other fields not required so that when people are you know filling out information they will have to make sure that some fields are completed whereas other fields are not completed and some of these are custom fields and they have field types so I think that's all I can really share essentially but yeah I just finished doing creating the custom fields and now I'm going to work on the order that they are seen in and then I'm going to add some help text to some of the fields for the corresponding project so that when people fill things out they know why they're filling it out a certain way so yeah that is um that is what i'm doing right now well it's five and i am done for the day i have nothing else to do i got back to everyone that i needed to get back to and yeah, all my tickets are like up to date so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because this is kind of like a work with me like you know day in the life of my nine to five essentially and it's five and I'm done I finished updating a project I'm waiting to hear back from other stakeholders on projects that they are testing because a lot of my tickets are in UAT meaning that my stakeholders are testing the projects slash whatever it is that I'm working on for them they're testing to make sure it is working accordingly to um, how they initially requested but also with my input of like managing expectations of what things will actually look like because I think that's another thing that when you're like an admin or a system admin essentially um, and you're creating projects or you're building integrations and stuff like that stakeholders or people or clients that you're working with will have an idea in their head of how technology works and you your job aka me my job is to manage their expectations and let them know what is technically feasible because a lot of times people are coming up to you and or coming up to myself and they're saying like all these really good ideas they're suggesting things like this is how we want to improve our workflow this is how we want to you know automate and stuff like that and this is their idea but they also don't have the back end knowledge of how the system is actually built or how it works how it properly functions um, what it's actually used for because sometimes stakeholders will be like yeah I want to use the system as like a data storage system and it's like it's a project management system you don't just store data there you manage your projects there <laughs> and so you have to manage people's expectations and also be realistic of this is how this application works and every application has limitations yes updates come and improvements happen but they're sometimes really small and also they don't include every single thing that every single user is wanting to have or the version of the application that you're on simply doesn't support what you're wanting to do because sometimes stakeholders will be like oh i saw that this is possible with this application and then you look it up and you're like 
Actually, with the version of the application that we have, it is not possible. And we're not upgrading anytime soon. Because <laughs> uh, with upgrades, you have to go through security. You have to make sure there's not going to be issues. You have to go through testing. And then when you do perform the upgrade, you have to do a test plan. You have to come up with a test plan. Um, and then also comms plan so people are aware of the changes that are happening and also that some new features may be available and some features that we had before may no longer be available and sometimes may no longer be available for free. And so that's kind of a lot of the stuff that I do. But yeah, that was kind of like a day uh, in the life with me or my nine to five day in the life of what it's like being a SAS admin as a woman in tech. I hope you enjoyed. I got to go to the office for a little bit. I didn't show the office just because of security and privacy. Um, didn't want to violate that, but also like I don't actually work in that office. I am remote. So in some ways it probably doesn't matter, but in some ways it does. I mean, we have, you know, pretty good security at the office, but don't want to like test the waters. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think I'm going to end out the vlog here from my bed. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are having a great day or night wherever you are at. And yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true and stay laughing. If you liked any part of this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing and comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And without any further ado, I will love and leave you. Bye.